Hey guys, I think today is the day. I think today is the day that I get my new car. I woke up to a call from the dealership that I've been talking to and the car that I requested is there. So I'm gonna go pick up my mom from home and we're gonna go look at it. There she is. Of course, my first order of business after getting a car McDonald's. I'm freaking starving. I'm gonna go eat at home and then I'm gonna show you guys my new car. But yeah, we were there for like almost four hours. It was kind of, kind of crazy. So, first drive through. And of course I moved past it. So I already introduced this video, but I'm gonna do a quick little car tour of the car that I just bought. I got a white Kona SEL with the winter package and she is a 2021, right? 2022. Okay, 2022. She's a 2022, <laughs> but she's a cutie. We're considering names now, so if you have any name suggestions, let me know. I'm thinking Portia. She's a sassy girl, I can tell. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Okay, so let's start this tour. So this is the exterior. She has a nice front hood and LED lights. If you wanna come, let's open her up. It's really cool because Hyundai, like a lot of other car brands, has a Bluetooth app and I can start the car remotely from anywhere. I can locate my car from anywhere. And yeah, just turn her on, turn the heated seats on. It's very nice. And I can do it from this remote as well. You can unlock her by just doing that, just touching the door. And then here we go. Let me show you guys a quick view of what she looks like right when you enter her. Okay, I'm gonna say her because she is a her in my mind. She might be any gender, but to me, she feels like a her, so. We're gonna say her. So walking up to the car, I have a black interior with black cloth seats. You can see that my cup is already in there. This car is a push start, so I just put my foot on the brake and start her up. Look at that, look at the purr. This car has a lot of capabilities. It's actually crazy. Okay, one of my favorite features is the CarPlay. Already pulls up already pulls up to my Spotify we love. And I just placed my phone in here. And something I didn't actually know was that this little pad right here actually charges my phone. And it'll notify me if I leave the car and have my phone in there. See, she's charging, she's charging baby. But the nice thing about Apple Play is that I just have access to all of the apps that I would on my phone basically. So Spotify, obviously navigation, and then all of like my messages. It'll read aloud any messages that come through and I can respond with my voice commands and that's really, really cool. Heating controls basically, all of the normal-ish. And then down here, there's actually some really cool stuff. This is the shift and I got the heated seats down here here and then also drive mode I have multiple different drive modes actually I have normal sport and smart and I'm gonna keep it on smart just because it'll shift between sport normal and also will like save gas do a little eco mode on that as well this little button actually if I have it off the car is just gonna choose what mode it is for me so if that's front-wheel drive four-wheel drive all-wheel drive it's just gonna choose automatically if you're relying on technology to choose that for you. If I turn this on and lock it, that just means that it will be an all-wheel drive. So like if the weather is bad, that will be the button I will be pushing. <laughs> so this steering wheel has a lot of capabilities. Obviously technology is so great nowadays. So this is my voice command button. Truthfully don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. I can adjust the volume and you know whatever song and then if I need to call he didn't explain what to me what that was. And then this will just show me all of, um, here, let's go back to the beginning. So I like it on the miles per hour page so I can just see all of the general stuff of like how fast I'm going, what modes are on. But if I push it again, I will get to these settings. This is just like what's going on with my car, you know? And then this is actually all the features. And I just wanna say that I am not the biggest car girl. I'm not a big car girl, so these are such great safety features. Hyundai did an amazing job. And then this is just cruise control. This is also self-driving. I forget what that is, but I will insert that in. Whoa. There's only a couple more things I wanna show you. Okay, so up here is my roof, my sunroof. I'm in love with her. I haven't figured this out completely. I can just pop it by pressing it, I believe, pressing it in. 
and it'll pop it a little bit. It is kind of squished back here. I'll show you guys a little bit more. I did just put my seat back to show you guys all the steering wheel features, but it's still a little cramped regardless, which is fine because I don't really drive that many people around. So this car is just a temporary thing. It's a lease, so yeah, this is the back. This car is kind of low to the ground. It's like comparable to a CRV. That's what I had before. Just a little less lifted from the ground. I'll show you the back quick. So if you're sitting behind the driver's seat, this is kind of your view. There's this much space. I put mine all the way back and there's this much space. This is the view from the back. Check rear seats. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I did leave my phone. I did leave my phone. So that's, that's correct. This is honestly just a very like short car. I love it. It's so short, so compact. On screen, I feel like it's just like not very clear how like, small it is, but it's like, it's pretty small. They didn't even take the little... Maybe I should have kept that on. Was I wrong to do that? And it came with this little tray on top just to hide anything that's down there. And my spare tire is in there. Pretty lovely, eh? 